Hey, how we doing? Uh, it's been a while, been been a week or so, but you know, I like to keep it just clinging on for more. Uh, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Johnny Lee. Uh, we we do helix, we do guitars, and we do motorbike stuff here. It's it's an amalgamation of like all cool things. Um, so you know, if you like one, then stick around, hit the subscribe button. That's all I ask. Uh, today we are looking at the uh, the sun amp, the moon amp, which whatever you want to call it. Uh, I needed something last week uh, for a cover band thing that was just dead simple, dead basic, no screaming solos. It's more chords stuff that I was kind of playing, you know, just kind of old school rock and rolly ACDC kind of stuff, a uh, bit of Leonard Skinner, that that kind of vibe where it's not like. It's not widdly widdly, so I didn't need like intense overdrive and like a you know fucking ton of chorus and delay or whatever. Um, so I've decided to just dive into this, and uh, the dynamic ambience has kind of taken over what the tile reverb does in all my patches. If you're new here with the Helix, I would always park the tile reverb on the end of all the patches because it gives this nice big lift to it. And in the fractal world, when I was using some of the fractal stuff for a little while, they had a button in there called the Enhancer, which kind of did the same thing, just kind of picked the presets up and just made it sound beautiful. Uh, and the tile in the Helix does exactly the same thing. So I think I'm, I could be swapping this out now for the dynamic ambience kind of permanently. Uh, out the old and in with the new. Um, so what I've done is, yes, I've dropped it down a little bit out of the way just so I can throw the mix up. Uh, it's not really reverby. It's a controversial thing to say, although it's in the reverb section. It's not really that reverby. It's more of a room feel. That's what it feels like. It just feels like you're kind of right next to the speaker. So let me just show you what's going on. There's just a very, very tiny amount of grey flanger. And I'll show you what that sounds like. It's like minimal. Like you wouldn't even know it was there. Uh, next to that, I've got the Stupor Overdrive. I was using the pillars for a while, just fancy, you know, staying kind of old school with the vibe that I was going for. Uh, settings for the amp. I've kind of upped the, the first drive, dropped the second, dropped the bass down a little bit, up the mids, uh, pull back the treble a bit, up the presence, took the hum and the ripple off and dropped the sag down. Uh, the reason that I dropped the sag is just it's a better feel under the fingers, I think, uh, and put the bias X up to 6.3. As far as the cab goes, stock cab, move the mic ever so slightly. It's a great thing in 3.5035, .5, is it 3.5035, .35, whatever it is. Uh, you think I know that because I was on the beta testing for it, but whatever. Uh, after that is the ping pong delay, which uh, just gives us... It's very, very quick. It's not intrusive. It just, you know, gives us something... So what I will say is, listen to the difference between this being off and on, and then I'm gonna answer your question. So some of the experts will be sitting at home now going, well, if you turn the reverb off, it immediately goes louder, which is better. Uh, that's a thing called perceived perceived loudness, perceived volume. It's like the world of uh, IRs where you, you get an IR and it's automatically louder and you think, it sounds better. It doesn't, it's just louder. Um, this just adds a little bit of flavor. Yes, the volume goes down a little bit. I could pull the mix back a little bit to get it to do its thing. Um, but... I, I, I just like it as it is. That's, you know what I mean? If you want to move it back to the top line, then by all means do that. So with the overdrive on, it gives us a nice kind of old school rock and roll kind of feel.
Their amp as well, I find that when you roll back the volume on your guitar, especially the Strat, I mean, there's a 500k volume pot on this as well, so that will make a difference. <laughs> behaves really well with the volume pot and I like that I'm a bit of an old man and I, I like that kind of vibe so uh, this will go in your HX stomp it will go in the stomp XL as well uh, take it and run that's all you've got to do there's nothing much to explain on this really it's just it's a free patch the link is there for custom tone all I ask in return is just hit the subscribe button leave a nice comment and you know tell me all about your day because I want to know how are you that, that's all I want to know Till next time, take it easy, y'all.